Hello everybody, Horst here again. I'm going to take you through another strategy for PVZ. It's the 6-gate all-in. I know I've shown 6-gate uh, replays before, but usually those aren't all-in. Usually they trans uh, transition into other things. This one, however, is a death blow to the Zerg. It kills them outright. If you don't win with it, you're probably screwed. But it's really good in some situations, like when the Zerg is going for really fast Mutalisk. Because if you don't kill those Mutalisks quickly enough, if you don't kill the Zerg quickly enough, he's going to have Mutalists all over your base. He's going to kill every last one of your probes. You don't really want that. So you got to instantly put some pressure on the Zerg to take them out. So we'll just look at that in this replay. The Zerg starts off with a very standard opening. I do as well. You just block your choke like normal. Get your gas armor. It's a normal 3-gate expand at this point. So if you know that strategy, this is all very familiar. Nothing out of the ordinary at all. I have a worker down here to see when he's expanding. He looks like he's going speed first, so I know I can't harass with uh, stalkers like I normally do. So I just retreat. <coughs> and the 3-gate expand. Usually you put down the Nexus at around 6, 6.30ish. 6.30ish normally for me. A little later than some on it. But it's not anything critical. Again, the fast forge you get before you expand so you can throw down cannons if you have to defend. I also like to get the very fast plus one upgrade. Now part of this that's crucial is right after warp gate tech finishes, you start hallucination tech. A lot of protoss do not do this. I'd like to see more of them do it. In Control even said in his latest uh, podcast today I watched that he should start using it more. I agree everyone should start using it more. It's a great ability. In the new patch, the build time will be lower on this so you'll have it quicker. Much better. But the point of this, the hallucination, is to know when to push out, if to push out, in fact. But I throw down the three gateways at my expansion to block it. Now, I am going six gate blind without scouting. But uh, if you look at my vision, I've seen only Zerglings harassing me. So I know it's very likely he's going mutilist, but I'm going to have to check that before I actually push. So my hallucinated phoenix flies out at 8.45. And we can see what it sees. <coughs> a very fast spire. That should trigger you to go all in, basically, and just crush the Zerg right now, because you won't have much defense at all if you tech that fast. Now, I do have my six gates going up. A key component of this is you want to cut workers at around 38. I'm a little low. 38 would be 16 on minerals here, 16 on minerals here, and 6 on the gas. That's the optimal number. But we can engage the Zerg, do some damage, kill some Zerglings. I have a pylon here while I'm warping in to reinforce. I should have a pylon closer, like here. But by the time I get the pylon there, it'll be too late, so I'm just not even going to bother at this point. I'm going to just warp in from here. And the push is slightly late, but it's with more units than I normally move out with, so it should be fine still. The Zerg still hasn't attacked me with Muter, so I can assume he's masking them in there. And if he does attack me with Muter, he's going to have to pull him back to survive. Now here I force field around the crawler so I can take him out first. Well, the Zerg just have to run around. Force field behind the stalker so he can't get his round off. Trap them in there between the stalkers and the zealots. Force fielding is very important. You want to get a good job done with that. Put the guardian shield up to protect from the mutalisks. And just keep the Zerglings from really doing uh, surrounding your Stalkers. You want to have them attacking Zealots, not Stalkers. See so if Zealots are around the Stalkers, you'll be fine. And he won't have anywhere near enough to stop this if he goes fast Mutalists. Unless he has like eight Spine Crawlers. And if he does, then he won't have enough Zerglings. So it's kind of hard for him. This is a very simple strategy. It worked very well in this replay, obviously. But the... St uh, strategy is sound. With, all you have to do is scout very early, see if he has that early spire. If he has the early spire, push with everything you got. And if he doesn't have an early spire and you have six gates anyway, it's not really a waste. You just tech into something else. I know that normally you'd go uh, four gate robotics after you expand, but going six gates is a 300 extra mineral usage. But for the uh, possibility that he's going the fast muta, and I saw the Zergling, so it, I was expecting the mutalisks. The six gate is a really good option because then you would want to transition into uh, uh, 
counsel for Blink. But didn't have to in this game because this below killed him. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you guys next time.